about two miles, two and a half miles from Buckskin Mountain State Park here in Arizona, just north of Parker, Arizona. I am to the river. This is wonderful. <laughs> which I think I should probably go utilize first alright this is my site for the night number 57 at Buckskin Mountain State Park Arizona I have an idea how big the sites are it's a corner site so it might be bigger than most but it's huge lots of big um trailers and class A's in here too so the sites are big there's another corner spot look at this one with all that yard there close to the dump or close to the dog park not close to Wi-Fi though so I'm kind of at the furthest point <laughs> beautiful park and there's the Colorado River right there just a short little walk across the the grass there. So some nice uh, shade trees here. Got a picnic table. Got my little casita and Toby's little yard set up. So a little fire ring there. Grassy area behind. And that beautiful river again. So it looks like these are campsites as well. I'm assuming tent sites. So you get, um, you're right on the water, which is cool. So you got a parking spot and then a table and a barbecue. Um, not my kind of thing, but it's nice. I imagine if you had a vehicle, like if you're car camping, you didn't have reservations, this would be a nice alternative. So again, it's right on the water there. Bathroom's right there. Hello, I'm at Bucks Skin Mountain State Park, Arizona, about 10 miles north of Parker, Arizona, and this is the Colorado River. Beautiful day, probably high 60s, low 70s, clear. And there is my van in Casita. There's the campground. So it's $35 a night to stay at a site with um, power and water. It's $38 a night um, to get one with sewer power and water. I got the uh, power and water one because there were no sewer ones available when I made the reservation. Otherwise I would have got that. <clears throat> but there is a dump station, which I'll be using before I head out. All right, I'm over near the main entrance. Gotta go slow. 
So that right there where that RV is pulling in is the check-in point, the ranger station. Over here is a visitor center, uh, park gift store. Very nice, got some great little collectibles and, and essentials for camping, like most uh, park stores. Again, here's the other side of the river. And this is a day use area here. Bathrooms over there. And of course, the campground. This park is very nice. Even has um even has a little walking path next to the road. So you don't have to compete with the vehicles like this one coming up here. shallow out there they probably have to stay right in the middle so that's where I was doing the first video and I noticed walking along the river here <clears throat> that it just winds around here. So this park's like uh, wraps right around the park. Pretty nice. Got some ducks out there. If I come out here again, I'm definitely bringing my kayak. It'll just be wonderful to paddle in. Water's pretty shallow. You can probably walk out a good distance before it gets too deep. Of course, this area is very rocky. You wouldn't want to walk out here. <laughs> It'll be fun to paddle out here. Oh, there's someone paddling right there. Hey, Jobs. 